everyone welcome back to another day in the life vlog i've got my cup of tea that i'm still drinking i've just finished playing piano in fact we haven't talked about the piano and i wanted to vlog the day it arrived but i wasn't really vlogging but i did do a couple of clips so let's just flash back quickly to the day the piano arrived because that was very exciting oh it's so exciting my piano's finally here we waited six seven weeks two months Two months. Very excited. This is my birthday gift from my lovely family, Benji's family and Benji. Thank you. Yeah. Before I forget, this is called a Yamaha P45. P45, yeah. Uh, it doesn't say that on the box, but that is what it is. Um, I can leave the link if you're interested, but I, I have talked about this. Yeah, this is the stand. This is the stand? Oh, that'd be why. Yeah, stand and support. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I've wanted to get a piano again for so many years, yeah. All right, stand is ready. Now it's just time to get the keyboard out. Digital piano keyboard. When did you start playing your original piano? When I was 17, so about eight, nine years. I have played since at friends' houses and you know, like any time I can get my hands on a piano or keyboard, but yeah, it's pretty special. I'm really excited. Oh. I have to get the trombone out when I'm the weirdest band ever, <laughs> a keyboard and a trombone. This is the first song I learned to play, really. Oh, hang on. <laughs> that hurts. So yeah, I've had the piano for just over a week now. I am really rubbish. I've taken it right back to basics. I'm using an app called Flow Key and I'm basically just teaching myself how to read music again because I don't remember anything apparently. Uh, it is coming back to me but it's taking some time and I'm not in a rush with the piano like to you know get back to where I was 10 years ago because that just not it's just not feasible is it like if you don't practice something regularly then you are gonna forget everything so I have been enjoying picking that up not every day just like when I feel like it sometimes it's in the morning sometimes it's in the evening um, and I just sit and do anywhere between 10 minutes to about an hour um, just depending on how I'm feeling and if I'm getting it or if I need to walk away from it and come back because I don't want to get frustrated with it I just want to enjoy the process of learning how to play again so obviously I'm just gonna do my makeup I don't really need makeup on today but it's been making me feel good so I'm wearing it so I've got the professional primer by benefit on in fact I'm gonna pop a little bit of um, Glossier U perfume on as well I'm obsessed with Glossier I actually placed another order that arrived a couple of weeks ago I got some more balm.com lip balms because I love the birthday cake one so I got the mango and the rose and then I got the serum and the milky jelly jelly cleanser which I've been trying out haven't used it long enough to like give you a proper review yet and then I've got the boy brow and the lash slick yeah so I'm going to use those today so the piano has been keeping me busy um as you know obviously I've had a little bit of a break from uploading so thank you for being patient with me whilst I took a really needed break and I've spent the last couple of weeks kind of working on my self, my own mental health. I'm trying to practice having gratitude and positive mental attitude, which obviously is easier said than done, but I've got a new diary. It's called the six minute diary and uh, I had a voucher on Amazon. So I bought that and I've been reading um, the first 60 pages are all about how to have positive um, affirmations and writing things that we are grateful for and being more present in the now rather than worrying too much about the future or what's happened in the past. So that's why today I'm not going to be talking about the last few weeks too heavily. I'm feeling a lot better and ready to be back on camera and I've missed vlogging. I've done quite a lot on Instagram stories but yeah i'm feeling so much better so thank you so much for being so lovely all of you i actually put an instagram post up this morning saying that i feel a bit more like me and lots of you were very very lovely so yeah that is that i don't want the vlogs to become too repetitive and there's only so many times you can do home vlogs and film stuff at home especially now we're not really working on the house too heavily like we've done all of our major jobs excuse me there's not too much to show you but Benj and I thought it'd be quite fun to dig out some of our two-player games today seeing as you know 
it's just the two of us and I uh, thought we'd show you some of our favourites so that's going to be the theme of today's vlog games um, I am a brand ambassador for a games company called Big Potato but this video is not sponsored by them and I don't currently have a discount code that is valid or live but hopefully I should have one later in the year I've been quite busy actually um, I have been working on a couple of projects that I can't really talk too heavily about I had lots of zoom calls lots of like meetings and um lots of emails still even though my work's quite quiet actually i've still been busy with that i actually have had quite a lot of downtime and benji is not due to go back to work just yet we haven't been watching too much on telly we've been picking up the odd film we watched the princess diaries one and two um surprised that benj actually said he'd want to watch it with me so that was nice <laughs> Finished all the Marvel movies, can't remember if I told you that, but we finished Avengers. I cried, I sobbed and sobbed and sobbed, it was so amazing. So cool to watch them all, you know. So, yeah, we finished Avengers. We've been watching some documentaries on National Geographic. There's one on Disney Plus National Geographic that's called um, Drain the Oceans. We've been loving that. I think we've watched like four or five episodes of that. Today I'm wearing a jumpsuit. Hopefully you can see this okay. From next, I've talked about this jumpsuit so much on my Instagram. So if you follow me over there, then you'll already know. It's like 26 or 28 pounds, something like that. And it's so comfortable. I actually bought it in black as well, which is what I wore yesterday. And this one just came out of the wash, so I'm wearing the spotty one today. But um, I love a jumpsuit, love them. Feels like pajamas, so comfortable. In fact, actually, I do have some more clothes to show you because I just had a Joni clothing delivery, very kindly gifted me some items. So, in fact, while we're here, let's have a look what they sent. Oh, hey Brogan, we hope you like your new Joni dresses. We can't wait to see you wear them. Lots of love, the Joni team. Thank you, guys. So the first thing, um, I'm already a bit embarrassed because it's literally, <laughs> it's blue and spotty. Clearly, I've got a thing for blue spotty, um, but it's a dress, not a jumpsuit. So this is the first thing. I mean come on brogan i clearly have a thing for this um print but it's like a little tea dress i thought this would be really lovely this is called i'll link it below but it's called the gwen little tie so you can tie at the front or the back whatever works for you and then this is called the natalie dress i thought this was so pretty for summer i don't have anything with this kind of print on and i just thought this was so lovely can you imagine with like a brown straw bag and some sandals oh that is so lovely look at the sleeves thought i'd give you a little car update i still don't have my car back in case you're new to my vlogs or you've not been watching the last few um i had somebody drive into my parked car that was on the road they were a learner and um my car went down to a garage to be fixed but because of corona there haven't been enough um mechanics and they haven't been able to get the parts from citroen um it's just a waiting game at the moment i still don't know what's happening with the wall as well they damaged the wall on the front of our house so waiting waiting game basically no more updates there i already have quite long lashes um which i love i'm very grateful that i have long lashes i obviously curl them first and then I found the perfect duo. So Benefit Bare Real Mascara is my absolute favourite mascara. And then I also bought the Glossier Lash Flick recently. So start with this. And this is going to give me the length I want. So that's Lash Flick. And then we're going to put a little bit of Benefit Bare Real on as well. I think they look nice. Can you see? Yeah. <laughs> cool. A little bit of blush and then i've got the emily canham l'oreal lipstick this is so lovely it's like a nice nude my lips are really dry at the moment i should be putting the uh glossier lip balm on really but i'll leave this link below too because this is from amazon um i don't know what the color's called oh it's just called emily's nude love it might put a little bobby pin in in my hair today yeah okay so this is the first joni dress my only criticism is that it does feel quite thin for how expensive it was i think it was about 40 pounds and it is quite a thin material but it's very like figure hugging like it's very flattering i think and i do like the little pearl button detailing um i've put the tie at the back but i guess you could put it at the front if you want but 
I actually really like this. It's quite a nice fit on me. Just need a different bra, I think. But yeah, here he is. I'm gonna go and do some shopping. Look how long his hair is. <laughs> We're not going to attempt to cut it. Uh, you might need a hairband in soon, though. No, I'll leave that to the professionals. Yeah. <laughs> when that gets... Uh, uh, do you know what? Being a hairdresser when lockdown's over, it's just going to be such an influx of... Like, so money, much, yeah. People are going to be queuing around the block. Braved off the buzz cut. You braved off the buzz cut? mates to the... Just to oh. like number one all over I just, I'd No. Rather, I'd rather it be long and annoying than look like... I don't know what I look like. <laughs> I'm going to wait until my 50s until I find out what I look like. <laughs> I love your hair. I yeah. think we should go get a walk in the today. Walk, the walk yeah. down to the shop's quite nice. The, on the way back, it's nice, pleasant. No, because you've got to carry everything. Yeah. How are you going to do that today? Because we've got a lot of stuff today. We haven't been shopping for a while, have we? Maybe you should take your car. Okay, obviously it needs to be ironed because it's just come out of the packet. But again, my boobies are a bit big in it. I think I need to just change my bra. But how pretty is this? I love this one. This is such a nice fit. This is a proper summer could go to like afternoon tea or kind of lunch with Benji's family and it's got pockets oh my gosh this one's so pretty yeah I really like this thank you Joni that has really made my day I'm having a bit of a random breakfast but um, I've got a bagel is it ready yet there we go and I'm gonna have banana and the skinny chocolate spread I put this on Instagram stories last night and I had so many DMs like, yes, buzzing. But basically, if you watched Selling Sunset, which was a totally trash, kind of very similar to... Oh, the hills, but they sold houses as well. Yeah, that style. It looks like MTV would have produced They're it like kind of thing. Stunning, like, supermodel women selling houses to multi, like, multi-million dollar houses. In LA, yeah. If you've never seen it, you should see it. But what I was going to say is that season two is out on the 22nd of May. Keen. I'm so keen. Also, there's a new Queer Eye coming out on the 5th of June, I yes. think. Um, so I put both of those in my diary, so I thought I'd tell you in case any of you didn't know mm -hmm. that. Um, but now it's time for High School Musical, the musical, the series. Okay, so we need to pull out two player games. There's a four, there's a four, four. We've already played Colour Brain in the Disney um, a games night, so do you want to do Colour Brain again? Or do you want to do original Colour Brain or no? <laughs> Looks like I've just won a, a prize <laughs> on, um, oh, what's it called? Come on down, Price is Right. <laughs> These are all the Big Potato ones. Um, so we've got Class, Colour Brain, OK Play, Dino Dump and QWERTY. Dino Dump is our all-time favourite Big yeah. Potato game and... Uh, yeah, we will link all of them below if you're interested. These are not all of the two-player games. I think there might be more. We've got a Top Trumps match Harry Potter game, which this is really fun. Benji loves this so one. Did we get this? Did you get it from it was a though? gift from Cineworld. Yes. They gave it to us as a Christmas present. And it was just like, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll give it a go. It is so fun. <laughs> it's really fun. And then we've got a classic Guess Who game as well. But this is kind of very similar to this, so we'll see how far we go. All right, what do you want to start with? Well, class. You want to start with class? On Facebook, it's like massive in somewhere like Finland. Really? They have like proper like tournaments. international tournaments for it. Really? Yeah. Okay. So it's obviously based on like an you know, old school kind of game or something. It's quite a bulky box. It's it's a bit of a pricier game. It's probably the I most know. expensive this one. This is something that me and my dad would have loved when we when I was growing up. The um the team at Big Potato also made us personalise um markers. You'll see. Yes. <laughs> and we got a little um trophy. We do have a little trick. No, I have not. Undefeated champion of the world. Yes, yeah, all right. What's it's happened? Sabotage. So, because Brogan never wins it, I think she snapped this trophy in her. I did not. Yeah, you did that deliberately. I got to say, class champion 2019 on there. 2018. Oh, 18. Is that how long we've had this game for? These are our little counters. <laughs> so, let these go here. Yeah. And then the more goals you score... They they are a little bit the battered. Um, the further you go. Obviously, Brogans will just probably stay in this zero here. <laughs> so, essentially, you have these magnets that... And then you have these little markers on the board. I don't know how... You can't see the board. I'll have to bring it over. Hang on. This goes on top, yeah? Yeah. And then this goes like this. Moving it along the bottom. Yeah. It makes it move on top and so... Yeah, to guard your... Uh, yeah. And if you get the if white If you get thing two the... of these stuck to your blokey, then you lose. If your 
blokey falls in the trap, you, you lose. lose. <laughs> and if the ball goes in the other person's thingy, you win. A point. You win. Yeah, yeah, that's the game. Get away! Oh. oh. Oh, oh no, I wasn't no. concentrating. <laughs> yeah! No! No! Get in there! <laughs> oh, it looks so yes! well done. There you go. I've got to keep you interested, you know. Oh. Oh, oh. Someone in their marketing team would have had to print these out and cut them out. <laughs> They're double sided as well. This game is aggressive, I'm not sure. No, who's aggressive? This game. See, people would think that I was the aggressive one when playing games, but it's not as you. I'm really competitive. <laughs> You're competitive too, though. Uh, yeah, that's why I just don't lose. Shut up, you do. This one is very straightforward. It's called OK Play. It's like Connect Four, but. Just little tiles. On the, yeah, you first. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh no no oh, no no. no. <laughs> oh Baba. No! <laughs> oh, I wanted to come in here. That. <laughs> That's enough of that one. No, I don't want to play that one anymore. It's like if I didn't know how your mind, or how your brain works, I probably wouldn't be successful at this game. Two games. To you, zero to me. <laughs> Next game. We're doing quick fire games here. Colour brain. We have showed colour bra brain before. Should we do that on last? No, yeah, let's, no, let's, let's do, do it. it. Let's do another thinking one. Guess who? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Is there facial hair? No. No facial hair? No. Not even a moustache or a beard or. When I say no, I mean no. no okay, I'm just making sure because <laughs> that's like narrowed it right down. Yes, it did. <laughs> have you got brand on? Yeah. Did you have Megan? No. Rachel? No. Ashley? No. Oh, hang on. <laughs> that's all I had left. I had Ashley. Oh, I was <laughs> going to say then. <laughs> Don't forget, this is the deciding answer. Is it Donna? Answer. No. <laughs> Quickly. It was the brown eyes. Yeah. Okay, so this game is essentially loads of Harry Potter characters in little cubes, and each cube has got a mixture of different characters, so not, and every not cube all, is different. Not all of the characters are on one cube. No, they're all so, different. Yeah. So you're not allowed any. You're not allowed more than two of one character. I've got loads row. going on here. You have to get five in a row. If Brogan gets say a row of five Harrys. I've got two cards here that after the game, when you get your five Harrys, if I turn over both of my cards and Harry's one of them, then I win. I don't like that rule. <laughs> no, of course you don't. <laughs> okay, so this is what I'm going for. Um, I do not have that on this cube, so we're going to have to go with another option. <gasps> oh, here we go. It's so funny when you have like four in a row and you're ready just to put that last one in. Yep. And then <laughs> the other person. Pushes it out. Yep. Um, I don't really want any of these to be honest, but. Winner, winner, no. chicken dinner. Are you joking? So I was the overall winner for the Harry Potter game. So that is two games to me and two games to Benj. So we're halfway through and it's also quarter to two. So I think it's time for lunch. We we're going to have chicken and bacon sandwiches. Make bacon medallions. Mm -mm. And maybe a bag of pom bear crisps. Ooh, Ooh. Out today. Okay, so we drink a lot of Pepsi Max, which is our favourite. But I was really craving a lime and lemonade. We did buy lime cordial, but then we spotted this and basically it tastes the same. The so cordial was like three pounds and this is like 80p. Yeah, uh, I'm sure the cordial is like what they use in a restaurant or a bar, but it's the same principle. Lime and lemonade. Put a little bit of ice in it, maybe. It's really nice. It is really nice. Got some mango today. We have three more games to play. Colour brain, which we've. Sh do you want to do that next, obviously? Yeah. <laughs> which we've shown in our Disney Day at Home because they do a Disney version, but we thought we'd try the original one today. I'm, Every time I'm you open this box. I've never used this last time. It's always like this. I think it's just where we put it on its side in the box. 
Mace Windu's lightsaber in Star Wars. Oh, come on. This is a question in my quiz I did the other day. Purple. Oh. He said it'd only appear in the film if it was purple. The bubonic plague. What's that? The bubonic plague. What? I'll tell you afterwards. You're gonna hear the colour I haven't used yet. Black Death. Scarlett Johansson's character in the Avengers. Oh, I can do that one. Purple, purple Widow. Black Widow. Black Widow. Oh, hang on, we both got points. Oh yeah. Or not? So I got two. Uh, I got one. One of these. <laughs> Flag of Finland, I'll give you a clue, it's two colours. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything, see how many colours you put down. <laughs> I'm really sorry, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Finland! I saw the next Sorry time. if you're from Finland. <laughs> oh, and on that note, it's time to finish this game. <laughs> what? Did I lose on the flag? Oh, you, you got one point. <laughs> <laughs> one. I got one right. Right, next game is QWERTY. So, the game's easier if you write down possible answers before play, so grab a pencil and pen and get scribbling. Each player now takes it in turns to try and spell one of the answers with their tiles. So you get a question. On your turn, you have a choice. You can take one tile from the table mm -hmm. to spell or two from the tin, no peeking. When taking from the tin, a player adds the first tile to their tile bank on the table and the second to their own letter pool. This is not one that is worth filming. Essentially, we're going to be spelling out the answers to the question. Yeah, so it's quite a mental thing. You, it's going to take a bit of time. We can't really talk. It's like Scrabble. Because if I talk, then you'll know what I have. Yeah, and I'm trying to write down some answers, and then I've got to try and spell the answers with my keys. But we'll, we'll let you know when I, when, when I win. When I win, did you just say? You're only supposed to play up to this line, and that's the big game if you win it, but we had to carry it away, and Brogan wanted to really come back and beat me. She didn't, but she wanted to, and we played past the tin. Well done. It was a good game. It was game. a fun game. I think this is an underrated game. Oh, it's a very much rated game. I like this game. I think this is good. We should dig this out more often. Ready? Ready? Oh, yeah. I like that, actually. Yeah. So for our finale, before we go for a walk of the day. Dino, Dino. We're going to play Dino Dump, which we've talked about a thousand times. I pack it in every single packing game. We have two copies. We've got an older copy, and then we have a newer version. It's two to four players, aged six and up. Basically, I think the pick-up deck cards, I've played this and I've told Big Potato that I think these are only good if there's like four of you. Yeah. It's not great having these cards in the two-player if you play just two players. Um, so basically, the game is Benji's put down a one, I have to put one or higher. So two, and then you pick up. Yep. You've always got to have three in your hands. Three in your hands, hands. yeah. That's and you it. don't touch these until you've got no more in the deck here. Yeah. Everyone's played it. It's called different names. Most of it involves a swear word. And if you can't go, so if I had only lower than the card, you have, have to, to take pick the, up the, the dick. dick. Six. And if you have two of the same number, or three, you can put them down. So it's still a six. What are you doing? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm picking this up anyway. Four. If you have four of the same number, it oh, burns it. Boom, burn. Boom, burn. <laughs> burn. My go again. Why is that? No, sorry, I changed my mind. What do you mean? You change can't change mind. your mind. What was this dude? Benj, no! You can't change your mind, we've moved on! Oh! Oh! oh. Yay! <laughs> oh. oh, I won! <laughs> I have won all day. <laughs> yes, I love Dino Dump. I forgot how much I love it. This reminds me of holidays. Yeah. Oh. We always take it on holiday. Yeah, we always can play. Play over Dino Dump. Shall we? There you go. I'll start shuffling. What a quarter past four in the afternoon. Yeah. Should we go for a walk? I've really enjoyed that day. Me too. It's something about like not having the telly on, just like chatting and. 
playing games. It's it's so so wholesome having like, actual board games and stuff like that, isn't it? Yeah, I agree. I love it. I love it. Me too. We just need our friends to come over so we can do a games night now because we've got all this space. First of all, we should make some friends, <laughs> and then once we've made some friends, <laughs> we've got such great friends. Yeah. I can't wait to have them all over. I yeah. can't wait for people to come and stay as well because we've got a spare room. people haven't seen it really, have they? No, we none of our friends. For, what, a month before lockdown? If that. Yeah, yeah, just about a month. And then we were just finishing and then lockdown. And we didn't really have people over because we weren't really finished. We only kind of finished. During lockdown. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, so. That'd be no exciting. No one's going to care now. <laughs> True, because we've been here so long. Yeah. And we did a whole house tour on YouTube anyway. Yeah. If you missed that, we did do our house tour, which I will link below or at the end of this video. Um, but now we're going to go for a walk because the weather's lush and we like to do a little walk every day. So obviously we're not going to have time to play them all today, but I thought I'd show you all the other two play games we have. So who am I? That's a, obviously, that's very obvious what that is. Uno, but I don't know where it is. That Disney game we played in the Disney yeah. at home game we did. Don't get got we haven't played yet, but I think you'd love this. It's basically um, you trick each other and it's like pranking each other. Oh, okay, yeah. So you get like five pranks and you have to do them throughout the day. We should do this in another cool. vlog. Yeah. In fact, I might pop that aside because I think that'd be really fun. Snappy Dresses is a card game. Oh, we, we like played that. that on the train quite a lot, didn't we? We like that. Rainbow Rage is another big potato one. Um, we've not really loved this one in the past, but it's an okay game. That's the small version of OK Play, the little two player one. Oh, that's a really good one. I enjoyed oh, that one. I can't believe we forgot about this one. Yeah, two player. Rookies. What came first is such a good one. You bet on literally what you think came first and you go around the board. We've talked about this one before. So I love that. That's so nice. We have loads of games, really. I can't remember if I showed this in a vlog or not, but I treated myself to this a few weeks ago. It looks like the most basic bag and I know a lot of people are not going to like it. It's a weird like rubber material, but that's why I love it so much. It's just the perfect kind of chuck on, goes with everything, side bag, and it fits so much in it. It fits my big person and everything. Um, so I've got this from a company called Fablu. Fablo? Fablu? I don't know. Fablu. Oh, well, anyway, I'll leave a link below. They have everything on sale at the moment. It was about £50, £55, and you can buy different straps as well, but I just really love it. They have a whole range of products and bigger bags and backpacks as well, but just like wipes clean, it's just nice, so. That's what I'm taking on our walk. Look how lovely this walk is that we do. Just love the birds. Yeah. You can hear them. All the, every single time I come on this walk, I can just listen to the birds. I don't even need the music. That's where I got my run as well. Yeah. yeah. Look, there's loads of paths and routes. Love it. Okay, so I haven't been doing much work today. I did have a call with one of my PRs at lunchtime, but the video I filmed yesterday, the team that are editing it are having trouble downloading the files i think the files might be too big so that's the first thing i need to do is just send over the files individually i tried to send it as like one folder clearly that hasn't worked so let's try again um so i'm gonna do that first and then i have a company whose invoice is severely overdue i don't know why but normally my emails on my phone sync with my emails on my computer so if i delete one on here it deletes on there and it's not doing that i need to google like why is my apple mail not syncing also on fridays i've been doing this since the beginning of the year i do a weekly review where i read someone on twitter say they were doing this and i basically copied their idea um it's basically where i write a list of all the good things i've achieved work work wise this week so any kind of leads any projects i've completed any um videos i filmed and edited any like good things so that i can look back at the year and see everything i did but also just for me mentally to look back at the week and it's kind of like a weekly appraisal i guess but because i only work for myself then it's just me that reads it obviously um but it's really nice for me to just stay on track and i also track um when i've received a payment so it's just nice to see what ads i've uploaded um things i've been doing and i've been tracking like conference calls I've done and it's just nice to see oh yeah I did that last week I think I'll chase that again do you know what I mean anyway so let's do my weekly review as well I'll put that on my list and we already said that we're having pizza oh, I did tell them yogurt. That you're making pizza, so yeah. this is yogurt pizza which I'm absolutely in love with I've just found the recipe two ingredient pizza dough it sounds ridiculous but honestly it's natural Greek yogurt and then white self-raising flour so here's all our ingredients 
for the pizza. Benji makes the sauce out of passata and basil, and then we just add chicken, mushroom, mozzarella, and onion. You can really add whatever onion. you want on top, to be honest. Well, yeah, you can do whatever you, you like. You like different things, and you can have different things. Well done, babe. Oh yeah, please. Okay, kitchen is now tidy. It's now nine o'clock. Um, I'm gonna make a cup of tea, I think, in a minute. Today has been so lovely. Obviously, no plans for the weekend. If you're not subscribed already, please click subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for being so lovely. And I will see you again in the next video. I don't know when that'll be, but we'll be back very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.